Hello, my name is Rex Butterfield, and I'd like to welcome you to a video about my Sim Gushin. Uh, I know it looks like cooking, but it's a Chinese instrument and it's pronounced something like Kushin. This ancient zither instrument has a history dating back some 3,000 years, so I've read, but in recent times it's settled on having seven strings. It has a, a flat fingerboard with no frets, so you can slide notes. And these markings here are called Hui, H-U-I, and these represent the position uh, to play harmonics. By far the biggest challenge of creating some sort of a simulation of a cushion is how you control it with a MIDI keyboard, sustain pedal and so on. Um, and it's very complex and so the solution I've come up with I won't pretend is easy to play. Um, it's something you'll have to experiment with, read the user guide and practice with a little bit. For a reminder of uh, what you do to play the instrument, if you click on this playing label you'll get a list of, of the basics. The synthesizer engine is adapted from my uh, Zither engine, which I've used on a couple of other plugins, and it's it's very simple. The uh, the timbre controls the uh, well the timbre. Kushan has a, a softer sound uh, than some Zithers, and you can also switch from string to um, a synth mode to get a different sort of sound altogether. A cushion is normally played with the soft part of your finger and the fingernail. I've called it plectrum because you can play it with the plectrum and this sets the the hardness of the of the plock. And one technique when playing rapidly is to uh, flick the finger backwards and forwards over the string to give an alternating sound. So if you turn on alternating, um, you get uh, an alternating sound, which is best heard when you, you play quickly. It's probably no surprise that the decay knob sets the decay time of the sound. And the damp button damps any sounding strings. Originally, uh, Kushan, or was it Kushan's? I don't know. Uh, would have been made with silk strings but in recent times they are wound strings and in actual fact um, some performances make use of the zipper noise you get when you run your finger up and down a string so you can make that noise yourself with, with a knob automated and set the level there probably about there is good so now I'll talk a bit about the global panel the whole instrument can be tuned semitones are fine now with the pitch bend wheel as with most of the other settings on the instrument um, the pitch is only changed when you're holding a note down so here I've set a two semitone bend and I'll play that I'm holding the note there Now I'm not holding the note, so there's no bend. Now it does mean you can play a chord and bend the whole chord, which of course would be impossible on the real thing. Vibrato is a 
a common uh, method of expression. And so we have the vibrato LFO. Um, we set the frequency, the depth, and the fade in time, and we can use uh, the model, which is CC1, or any, any other controller. And if we move the mod wheel, you'll see the depth um, changes as we move the wheel. Now, like the pitch pen wheel, um, we only get vibrato if we're holding down a string note. So if I just uh, pluck strings and release them, but if I hold down a note, and when I release it, the uh, vibrato stops, which is what would happen on a real instrument. One useful uh, way of applying a bend is to use the pitch envelope. So you can set the time and whether it starts semitones below or above and so slides up to the note or down to the note. And this is uh, enabled while the sustain pedal is pressed. If the sustain pedal isn't pressed when you pluck a note, there is no pitch envelope. The sustain pedal has to be pressed just before you play a string note. So now we'll talk about how you play the same cushion. The string notes are from C3 up to B3. That's seven notes for seven strings. These knobs set the open note for each string and uh, typically they're based on a pentatonic scale which covers more than one octave. I've provided some preset scales here which I'm using the Chinese names for. Um, if you want the default this goes to what's called the Zheng Diao, Diao being uh, the scale. Of course you can uh, set any scale you want to so in the actual presets um, I've got a few different um, examples of scales for instance here's a blues scale so if you want to play harmonics for the uh, way markers there um, you use the keys C2 to B2 and you have to press them just before you pluck the note like you would on the real instrument and this goes from times two that's an octave times three four five up to times eight so I'll just give you a quick demo of that So now we'll talk about this uh, big slider that spans the width of the plug-in nearly and covers a range of three octaves. The big slider offsets any notes that you play. Um, if you want to hear the transition between notes, such as in the slide, you need to hold those notes down. So this is without holding the notes down. This is with holding notes down. And you can add 
a slow time to that. But you have to hold the notes down to hear that slide. If you have chromatic set, then the pitch will align with the nearest note. If you have smooth set, then you can have any pitch you want. Hold means the slider will stay where you left it. Snap back means it will always smack, snap back to minimum when you release the mouse. Now using the mouse I find not particularly that easy so instead of using the mouse to drag the slider you can use the MIDI keyboard from notes C4 up three octaves so I'm now using the MIDI keyboard to position the slider. you can slide chords but don't forget you'll only hear that slide if you hold the string note down now in addition to all that you can use the MIDI keyboard not only to position the slider but to re-trigger whatever note you're holding down let's turn it on So now I'll talk about this panel here where you have uh, a slider for each individual string. So this works in a similar way to the big slider but it's less sophisticated. It doesn't have uh, a MIDI input because you've got seven strings and one MIDI keyboard. You can set the, uh, the range of this uh, string system. Uh, a fifth, an octave, oops, wrong note, two octaves, three octaves. One advantage of this system, which I confess is, is quite difficult to operate with the mouse, is that you can set up your own um, arpeggios. So if I go to a seven string thing, then you see I've got a basic scale here, which I've added an offset to. You can even tune it to the open strings of a guitar. And if you're into micro-tuning, you set smooth here instead of chromatic, and you can adjust the pentatonic scale as you wish. So that's my sim cushion for you. 
And as always, there's more information that I've imparted here in the user guide and also the background info folder contains uh, more information about the instrument should you want to learn a bit more about it. So I hope you have a bit of fun with it. And until the next time, bye. Oh.